Have you been hanging and banging, brothers and sisters? Have you been in the gym, pumping that iron, and getting yourself in top shape? If so, you need to fuel your body. And nobody can do it better for you at a better price and a better quality product than our friends at Best Price Nutrition. That's bestpricenutrition.com. 1-800-499-4810. They got free shipping on orders over $99 in the USA. They even have a 30-day return policy. Ladies and gentlemen, Best Price Nutrition is where it's at. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take a few seconds and talk about something I feel very passionate about, and that is Brian Ferguson's Bumps and Thumps podcast. You're available on YouTube and any other outlet where you can get your podcasts from. Brian Ferguson interviews several former AWA stars, Greg Gagne, Derek Dukes, and many, many others. Take a trip back in time to the AWA's glory days with Brian Ferguson on Bumps and Thumps. Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. Tonight, it's another Spot Show, Spot Show number 47, everybody, and we are live and in living color at Bellevue East High School Gym in Bellevue, Nebraska. We are doing a Spot Show, uh, a fundraiser for the Bellevue High School Marching Band, and that's the East high school marching band. So our venue is already set, and let's go ahead and check our absent workers here. There is nobody else injured besides Jerry Blackwell, who's still recovering from that very serious injury that he has, and it looks like we have some protege work here, which is good. And what's going on here with Bob Backlund? Ooh, Bob Backlund is willing to put over Scott Steiner, and that makes total sense since uh, Scott Steiner is an accomplished amateur wrestler, and also Bob Backlund is a very accomplished amateur wrestler. So let's go ahead and let's take a look here at our card for this evening. In our opener, we're going to have Shirley Black versus Despina Montagas. We are going to have Peterson and the Trooper, and they are going to take on Bad Company in tag team action. Ricky Rice is in singles action against Tony Anthony. Soldat Ustinov is also in singles action, and he's going to face Ron Simmons in the semi-main in a match that should be pretty darn good. Chavo Guerrero is going to face Manny Fernandez. And in our main event this evening, everybody, Kevin Kelly and Doug Summers are going to tag up to face Bob Backlund and Greg Gagne. If you remember the last time Bob Backlund and Greg Gagne tagged, they said that they had bad chemistry. We got that straightened out. <laughs> Bob Backlund and Greg Gagne tagging makes perfect sense, and they probably would have gotten along just fine. So with that said, with all of that said, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's get to booking. Here we go, the 12-minute opener, and we have Black versus Montagas. And we're going to leave this one wide open, because why not? Either one of these ladies could use a win. And there's Despina Montagas. I want to double check something here. I think Despina Montagas held the AWA ladies title already at this point. Uh, it looks like I'm wrong. Um... I, she may have, and I just may have it updated in a later save. Remember, we're only playing in version 6 here. So, this one's left open-ended. And it is booked up and ready to rock. And coming up next here is Peterson and the Trooper, one of my favorite teams. And they're going up against Bad Company here. Here we go, tag team action. There's Bad Company. And there is Peterson and the Trooper. Now, Bad Company 
Ah, I screwed that up. There's Bad Company again. And there is Peterson and the Trooper. And we save it. And there they are. So we're going to auto-name this one. And we are going to go ahead and give the win to Bad Company because they need all the wins they can get since they've lost quite a bit to the Guerrero Brothers. All right, Ricky Rice and Tony Anthony now in singles action. They are also going to go 14. And Tony Anthony is going over here, everybody. I know, big shock. Here's Ricky Rice. And here is the dirty white boy, Tony Anthony. Anthony gets the win. This is a pretty good spot show card here. Ustinov versus Simmons. They're going to go 16. Ron Simmons, of course, is a major, major baby face for us. One of our top baby faces, I would say. So, of course, he is going to win on the spot show circuit here against that dirty, no-good Russian. You know, it just made me think of something. I remember a few years back, I was watching uh, some AWA television, and I think it was 89 or 90 when uh, Nikita Koloff came to the AWA. He was doing his, it may have even been as late as 91, one of the last shows they ever had, and uh, he was doing his Russian nightmare gimmick, but he was wearing Lithuania colors, and they announced him from Lithuania. It never made any sense to me. How could you be the Russian nightmare but be from Lithuania? Think about it, everybody. Think about it. All right. We have Chavo Guerrero. And Manny Fernandez coming up next. This one goes 18. Chavo Guerrero and Manny Fernandez were actually a really good tag team together. And uh, they also had a lot of good singles matches against each other. Manny Fernandez is going over here. Sorry, Chavo. Uh, of course, Fernandez is going to cheat to win. That one is booked, and now we have our big main event here. That's going to go 25 minutes, and we are going to have Kelly and Summers against Backland and Ganya. And of course, Kelly and Summers are managed by none other than Baby Doll. So there's Kelly and Summers right there. And here is Bob Backland and Greg Gagne. And just for the heck of it here, in typical AWA fashion for a spot show, this one's going to go to a double. This double count out. Let's go with a double count out. There it is. Double count out finish. And we're all set here. We're at 111 minutes. This one's ready to roll, everybody. We're going to hit that start show button. And bam, here we are in business. And Despina Montagas gets the win over Shirley Black by submission. We need to check Montagas's finisher. Because usually when it goes to submission, that's a default and something's not right. Sometimes these wrestlers just don't load right when you bring them into the game and it just skips their finisher. Uh, you just saw that the other day in the Windy City save with Larry Cameron. So here we go. Uh, we actually sold this one out, 1,650 people. That's a nice, nice crowd for a spot show in a high school gym. All right, 51 overall. Bad Company gets the win. And again, a nice score here for a spot show. We got Red Text the Doom going on, but nothing ever surprises me with Red Text the Doom. Inexperienced, fatigue, yada, yada, yada. You know all the good stuff there. Moving right along, Tony Anthony beats Ricky Rice with that big bad shoulder breaker. Got some holding back business here. Experience, inconsistency, the usual. There we go. Ron Simmons wins with that big scoop power slam. This one gets a 71 overall. Nice score. Nice score for a spot show. 73, 66. Soldat Ustinov is coming along here. He's come a long way from when we got started with this save back a year ago in the game world. 
And here we go next. Guerrero versus Fernandez. I was hoping to get a little bit higher of a score here. We get a 76 overall, but I'm sure they both got holding back. And neither one of them got holding back. The only thing that hurt us here is inconsistency. So I'm a little surprised that this one only got a 76. But for a spot show, I'll take it. Let's see what our main event did. Nice 85 score here. Terrific score. And there's the double count out. Kevin Kelly held his own here. That's good to see. And uh, let's check. We've got bonus city across the board here. We do have some penalties for holding back. All that good stuff. Inconsistency. The usual suspects here. All right, we're going to finish this one up. And 81 overall. Great score for a spot show. And the fans of Bellevue East High School, the fans that showed up in that gym, got quite the show. And the marching band raised some money, everybody. All right, so this spot show is complete. So our next spot show will be number 48. And that's going to be held on Monday. And of course, we are rolling into our next batch of tour dates here for Thursday, Friday, Saturday in the game week. And, whoa, getting ugly here. Doing the thing where I can't, there we go. Yeah, so we are rolling into Omaha. We're going to have Omaha, Denver, and then Salt Lake City. This is always a good run for us. We usually get some pretty good crowds in all three towns. And uh, we're looking good here. And, of course, the replacement now for Sergeant Slaughter is going to be Tom Zink. And then we have one more week after this, which leads us into the home stretch to Wrestle Rock 88. And then we have a whole new batch of tour dates after that. So things are getting exciting here in the AWA save. They're always exciting. And uh, let's take a look around the game world here and see what's going on. Oh, AWA has loaned out Kurt Hennig to World Class. Let's see what they did with him in World Class, if that took place already. I think that's our first. I think that's our first loan to World Class. There was no World Class show yet, so we'll see what happens. All right, Cactus Jack is gone from Memphis. Sergeant Slaughter is officially gone. Good luck to Sergeant Slaughter. The guy did a great job for us. Been very happy with him. Scott Hall is also loaned to World Class. So Hall and Hennig have been loaned to World Class. Let's see if they wrestle as a tag team there. It's quite possible. All right, Nick Konichki is now a technician. Cool. Good stuff. And let's see what's going on here. Nick Konichki wants more money. He wants a $60 pay increase. We can do that. And, of course, you know what we're going to do with that pay increase. <laughs> All right, uh, do we have Nick Konichki managed by Baby Doll too? We do, cool. So we have like a little mini stable going here with, uh, we're not going to call it that certainly because that's the last thing wrestling needs is more stables. Uh, so we got Konichki and Kelly and Summers kind of working together as a stable. In real life, Kevin Kelly was in the Playboys group with Buddy Rose and Doug Summers. Well, we know Buddy Rose left. And then later on, Nick Konichki and Kevin Kelly formed a tag team. So we have those three kind of working together. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if anything catches our eye. Volkoff over Billy Jack Haynes in the main event here in Washington. That makes total sense that Billy uh, Jack Haynes would be in the main event there. And do we even dare look and see what the NWA did? And they didn't run, so that's good for us. All right, that's going to do it for us, everybody. We'll be back in action tomorrow, of course, with another tour date that's kicking off here. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and then leave a comment below. Let us know how you found the channel and what you think of us so far. You can also find us on social media, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod. You can also find us on Reddit, on the subreddit of TEW 2020 Friends. Last but not least, if you would like version 9 of the Supermod, go to braddrake.net, drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to send you a link to the database and the picture pack. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.